Hi, this is Tyler Disney from Integral Group Oakland, and in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to copy monitor grids and levels. Uh, so here I am in my new project, I'm ready to go. So first thing I'm going to do is open a uh, floor plan, and as you can see there's nothing in it. I'm going to go to the insert tab, hit link revit, because uh, I don't actually have a link in here yet. I'm going to click on my architecture link, uh, hit origin to origin and open it and here we go uh, very first thing I do is I select it and I pin it by typing PN that is annoying um, so it's pinned um, copy monitor very first thing I do is go to the collaborate tab hit copy monitor select link and click on the architecture link you'll notice this green uh, this blue box pops up around it so I do that, uh, I hit the options button, um, and right now since we're in floor plan we're going to do the grids first, but we'll do the levels in a second so we can um, uh, do the settings here. Uh, so just match these two columns, uh, so quarter inch head, no head, and plenum, that's fine. And now for on levels, uh, you want to set um, reuse if within offset for this, and what that means is that uh, for any levels that you have in your model already, if they're very close to uh, levels in the linked model, it'll reuse those so you don't have to recreate all your links and anything you have modeled on those levels won't be lost. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Um, go back to grids and match these two columns, custom gap, bubble gap, um, and that's fine. Um, hit OK hit copy and then you have to click multiple otherwise it'll just let you click one at a time and then you can just select everything uh, but then filter it and make sure that you only have grid selected hit OK and then you have to hit little finish first and then it goes over here go back to the copy monitor tab and hit big finish and you now see that you have uh, these grids in your model uh, but before you do anything pin them. So select everything, filter just the grids, and pin them. PN. Cool. Grids are done. Uh, so now I want to do the levels. So I'm going to cut a section through here. So it's uh, hard to see. Let me pin that real quick. Trying to pull this out you can, so you can see it, uh, but it's really quickly. Adjust this guy okay, up there. Turn it back on. Sorry about that. So this is the existing level that came with the template that is already in my mechanical model, and then these two levels right here, arc level two and arc level one. Um, are what we're seeing coming from the linked model. And again, remember they're not copy monitored yet. So mech level one is actually sharing the same space as arc level one. It's at the exact same um, level. So um, we're going to repeat the process. We're going to go back to the collaborate tab, copy monitor, select link. Look for that blue box that's showing up right there. Um, and again, I'll come over here. So for levels, we want to reuse matching levels if within offset. And we set the offset here to zero. So basically what we're, we're saying is that when I copy monitor a level, if it's sh if there is already a level in the exact same place, it's gonna sort of reuse that. It's gonna make those two the same. So I'm gonna go do that. And little finish. And so watch what happens between the names of these two guys. Voila. Hit finish. And so this, these two levels are now the levels that I've pulled in from the architecture and these two are just the ones that I can still see because I have the visibility set. So if I just um, go into the architect's links and turn off annotations, all I can see are my two levels. And so again, very first thing I do, pin it, PN. 
And there, I have successfully uh, copy monitored uh, grids and levels. Uh, that's it.